Here's Ellie hanging out on the top of the stairs. She likes to guard the stairs so the cats can't get past because she's jealous, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs, okay? Okay, we're downstairs. I'm gonna show you everything that I got over the past couple of days to resell online. I'm gonna flip these items to make some money and continue to fund my Disney vacation. Oh boy! So if you are new here, thank you for coming to check me out. My name is Heather and I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms. I originally started reselling because I'm obsessed with Disney and I wanted to keep going every year and that's been happening thanks to this business. So super excited about that. If you're a reseller, subscribe down below. I put out three videos a week. I do mystery unboxings, what sold videos and thrift hauls. So lots of content for you to enjoy. We are going to get into this. If you see anything that you like, you can message me on Instagram is usually the easiest way to get a hold of me and let me know that you're interested and I can usually give you a better deal than I would off platform because I don't have to deal with fees and all of that. So I went to a Goodwill today just here in Iowa where I live. And then this other one is from a Thrift World, I think. I think it's a Thrift World, which is another um, thrift store location that we have here in the Omaha area a couple of days ago. So we're just going to get right into it. This is Free People. Um, all Free People is not good anymore. It used to be like super amazing. This is size extra small. These in particular used to be some of the really amazing Free People items, this cuffed thermal, but I will still pick them up. They're a size extra small. I, did I already say it's a size extra small? I think I did. Um, with a like crochet sleeve. Anyway, when Ryan like very first started reselling, Ryan is my son, if you are new here, he found one that someone wore in the Vampire Diaries and it was worth more than all the other normal thermals. So it is a good idea to make sure that you're always looking things up to see what they're worth. Next is a cabbie size small. This is a, I don't know, it might be a dress. It's gray, long sleeve, like super stretchy. It has this beltish detail in the back, but I don't know. I think it might be like a tunic because it's like a high low hem. But anyway, I'm gonna list that today. Most of these items will either be listed today or tomorrow if you prefer. Some people I know like to go on the platform to purchase things. This is Zaya Active, which is like a MLM kind of company um, activewear, but it is selling good for me right now. It's size medium and it's a really cute like tie-dye short sleeve t-shirt. I know a lot of people are getting into the New Year's resolutions of working out more regularly, me included. Grace and I did a workout this morning. <laughs> I think she about died, but that's okay. I always go in phases of like working out and eating right. I just do. I don't know. Maybe one of these days it'll just stick, but we're back into it. So we'll see what happens this time around. Uh, more cabbie size small. This is, you don't really need to see that tag. I guess you just saw it. Like a green tab sleeve, short sleeve t-shirt. It has a round neck and it's just really oversized. I am starting to look in, there's a loose hair. I am starting to look in the short sleeves, the tank tops, the shorts, because after Christmas, pretty much all of the retailers start putting out their summer stuff, like swimsuits, shorts, and all that, dresses. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it too. Okay, next, we have a pair of Judy Blue jeans. This brand is still selling pretty well for me. I just sold a pair this morning on Poshmark for $23. These are a size 28, um, and they are the relaxed fit. So I am looking for more of those, although some of the skinny jeans for Judy Blue still sell, but not as much. I feel like skinny jeans in the plus sizes are selling better for me right now rather than the smaller sizes. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if that's true for you guys as well, if you're even still selling skinny jeans. This is a pair of Joe's jeans, um, and I think these might be pretty new. Here's what the tag inside here looks like if you've sold those, but down here... It says spring, or it says 9 of 2021. So, I mean, that sounds new. I don't know if this is the style number. If you guys know where the style number would be on these apparently newer ones, because there's no other tags. Let me know. They do seem like a high rise and maybe like a straight leg jean. So that's why I got them, because they didn't seem like the older ones that are like skinny jeans and like really warm. So I figured I would try that. Ryan just woke up and it's 2 p.m. Apparently he stayed up till 2 a.m. He's been like all out of whack with his schedule. I was like, wow, buddy. He said, oh yeah, I forgot to ship. So I went out and shipped at midnight and then I just couldn't fall asleep. And then I started watching YouTube shorts and I was like, oh my gosh. Like I've been up and did my shipping for three days. 
went to Goodwill, did a workout, ate my lunch, like, <laughs> and he's just getting up. But I guess that's the benefits of the homeschool life. I let him sleep however long he wants. This is a new to me brand. Let me know if you ever sold it or if you ever heard of it. I know a I N O A H. Why I looked it up is because it said made in the USA kind of looked very like artsy art to wear. It has like a three quarter sleeve and it's a tunic length top. So I did look it up and I think comps were around 30 to $40 for a lot of these tops. So I thought, why not try it? Also, how do I make a thumbnail from my video? Because I see people doing that and I'm like still like learning about all of this YouTube stuff. Like I know you can make it within YouTube, but I feel like do they take the picture from the thumbnail and then do somewhere else to put in like the other stuff or do they do it all on YouTube? Or am I just dumb? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is an anthropology brand. I think that it's newer because it says anthropology underneath Moulinette Sewers. Uh, we're not gonna pretend that I know how to say that. It's really cute, brown with this bow detail around the neck and balloon sleeves. It's like a super lightweight sweater and it is 98% wool. So that is why I got that. I am picky with anthropology because there's a lot of it out there and it's very oversaturated on the reselling markets. But I thought that one was newer, so I would wanna try it. Cabbie size small again. This is a cute sheer yellow floral top with a kind of like dolman sleeves and it has a tie on the back waist area. So I like that. This I just posted about on my Instagram. First of all, very exciting because I was getting so tired in that thrift store, but it's Lululemon with the rip tag still attached. And the only reason I was slightly confused is because I was looking for the logo and this is what I found. It just says Lululemon, but this is actually currently still for sale on their website. It's like the perfect oversized crew or something like that. So it's a really nice white pullover sweatshirt. Like I almost want to keep it, but I think I'm going to sell it. I need to look and see how much comps are for this. But it's super nice. Like you can tell the quality is really nice. Like right now, this is just like some Walmart white hoodie with this weird mesh thing down the side, but I like wanted a plain white hoodie. I've been looking for like plain white and plain black in the thrift stores and I don't, it's like really hard for some reason because I'm trying to like make myself a new wardrobe. So it's like a lot of neutrals and like just um, simple and I can only find graphic ones in there. Okay, I'll keep looking though. Uh, cabbie size medium, navy blue with green polka dot. I think this was called the martini blouse. Got that. These are Athleta. It is the newer style or a newer, yeah, release, I guess, because it has it written underneath. The tags are cut out, but it says the salutation stash pocket. They are camo. They are size extra small. Um, very, very soft, super stretchy. So I still picked up those, although I'm not picking up very many crop leggings anymore. This is the brand CWX and it's like an athletic compression brand. It's a size extra large. They are a medium pair of full length mid-rise leggings. These soles are all over the place, but some are up to like $50. I don't know for this exact style, I'll have to look at them up when I go to list them. This is a legging brand I haven't found in a really long time. It's the brand K Deer. And it looks like they don't sell as good as they used to because I feel like when I first started reselling, they could go for like big money. But like these were selling on average of like 20 or $25. But I still went ahead and got them just because it was kind of like excited that I haven't found them in a while. And then one of my tried and true bread and butter brands, Catherine's. This is a size 3X. I just listed a 4X top the other day and it sold in less than 24 hours for I think $27 on eBay with free shipping. Uh, blue and white, I mean blue and green, like three quarters sleeve, just a pretty dress. This would be really pretty for like spring, summer. And then the last thing I got are these Jack Rogers shoes and they are new which is nice. I haven't got that off yet. I need to get more Goo Gone because that's what I usually use and mine was like about out. They are a size seven and a half camo. So 
I thought those were pretty cute, so I figured I would try those. Okay, Ellie's just like clicking around down here. She needs her nails trimmed, but we can't use the nail clipper or she'll like go into attack mode. So we like got this scratching pad, which is basically like sandpaper. And we have to like bribe her with treats and like hold her paw and try to like file her nails. Good. Scratch. Good. Can I have your paw? It's pretty pathetic. Okay, assets by Spanx. I don't get this all the time just because it's a lower end and it's not as expensive, but it is a size 1X and they're kind of a pair of like high waisted, maybe capri leggings, or I don't think it's like just shapewear. I think these are meant to be worn as leggings. This is a Bolo brand. It is the brand L'Artiste Spring Step. These are super nice. They are this like black chevron kind of patterned clogs they are in very good condition they're a size 40 i already listed these but that did um equal like a not women's a u.s size 9 so these i think will sell between 40 and 50 dollars unless i just take a really quick offer because if you watch my channel you know that i just take offers sometimes that are less than what the comps are because i like to make quick sales this is a brand bogs this is another bolo brand is this coming out straight for you? Yes, I think so. <laughs> that way was not. I'm dumb. These are a pair of gray wool slip-on shoes. I usually find these in boots. I've never found them in anything else. So that was really exciting. And these are a size women's eight. So two Bolo shoe brands for you to be on the lookout for. That's the end of my thrift roll stuff. We're gonna get into the Goodwill, which I just got back from. They brought out a couple of new racks, which I found some stuff on. Um, these are a pair of Tony Llama boots. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I just sold a pair of Tony Llama boots on eBay. They were men's, but I think I sold them for almost $70. So I definitely wanted to get this brand again. They are just like a brown leather. I think these are women's, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. There's all kinds of like numbers in here, but I'm not even like seeing a size. The only thing like they have this in the bottom, but I don't know. I still got them because they were like five bucks. Would you guys have got these? So here's the other pair. I don't know. I just feel like they're skinnier. Like they're probably a women's. Although right here it says 28D, but like what does that even mean? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do, or is that 280? I'm gonna have to do some research. <laughs> Hopefully I can figure out the size because I hate listing shoes without the size. Like that to me is very annoying. Here's my receipt. I spent $102.80. I need to get a little box to put all of my receipts from last year because now we are in the year 2023. Okay, I love selling this shoe brand. This is Allegria. This is similar to, reminds me of like Dansko's, but they always have this like butterfly logo. So be on the lookout for that. They are a brown leather Velcro clog you cannot use the word velcro on ebay be warned you need to use hook and loop or something like that they are a size 40 and i sold allegrias a ton so i always pick them up when i see them another brand i get all the time i got these sandals this is the brand naot i think is how you say it another comfort brand these are just some tiny little black leather slip-on sandals they're in really nice condition they are a size 36 it says made in israel l5 does that mean ladies five that would make sense i don't know tiny people need shoes too <laughs> so i got them and then the last pair of shoes i got is a bed stew which is a bolo brand but i don't know how these men's shoes do i don't feel like they do as good as like the women's boots but i wasn't gonna leave behind bed stew at the thrift store for $5.99. If you've sold bed stew men's like Oxford's like these, please let me know down below in the comments how it went for you. There's kind of like, I don't, they're known to be distressed sometimes. So that could just be how they are. Um, it does say they're a size 10 and a half. And I think there's a style name right on here, Orleans. So I'll look them up and get some information on those before I list them. Let's move on to my clothing bag. I got a pair of Free People jeans, which I haven't gotten in a while, but I did look these up and I think they're gonna do pretty good. They're the curvy 
vintage high-rise straight jeans in a size 29. I'm pretty sure they have like no stretch, which is my worst nightmare. Okay, it says they're 91% cotton, but it does not feel like it. So, I mean, <laughs> that's not really moving. They're cute. They're in style. They have a raw hem. They're a good wash. So I got those zipper fly. I didn't know if that was wet and fly. There's another pair. Oh, here they are. These ones are a little bit of a lighter wash, but it's the same deal, I think. Or these ones don't say curvy on them. But still, it's a size 29. I'll look up the style on these. These are a little bit of a lighter wash, but they're still the high rise. I think straight leg, raw hem, jeans. Yes, those are nice. Okay, we're not showing that, that's for me. I got this pair of just black jeans, which I don't get all the time but I will get them depending on the style. These are a size 28, but they're like a raw hem, like flare jean, which is why I got them. And this black doesn't really look faded like at all. So I think they're have been barely worn. Um, they do have a tag in here with a style number. So I'll look them up and see what they're called. They're a high rise. So hopefully those are good. They should be. We have one of my favorite brands to sell and that is Spanx. And they're a size 3X, which is amazing. These are a pair of black velvet pull-on leggings. And of course they're super stretchy. They're super nice. I love selling Spanx, especially in these bigger sizes. So yay, I'm probably gonna list those today. I've been trying to list 15 per day. And I think I photographed 12 this morning. So we'll see. Usually I do it all at once, but I literally ran out of clothes. That's why I had to go to the Goodwill. <laughs> to get some more things. This is new with tags, Lane Bryant, which I don't really get that often, but I don't know. It was $3 and I didn't want to leave it behind. It's like an orange beaded three quarter sleeve, just like pullover top. Cute color for like spring, summer. I found some good plus size stuff today. Uh, this is a free people one tag. If you've never seen what it looks like, there you go. Kind of reminds me of a penny. It's a size small and it is this cute, white like crochet lace tunic or mini dress i don't know it would be a very short dress but i'll look up that by the ob number and we'll see how much it's worth here we have zaya active again size extra large good basic black v-neck short sleeve t-shirt it's got a pocket here's the logo if you're ever looking for it it's like a moon with a little star cut out so yes, activewear. I actually just ordered an activewear box off of the ThreadUp rescue box site this morning. I got the medium box, which last time I think I was only able to get the extra small box. So I'm really excited to get that. I hope it's good. This is new with Tags New York and Company, which again, I don't really get, but it was so cheap. It's plus size and it's animal print. And for some reason, animal print and plus size does good for me. So I wanted to add that to my store because I always want more cute plus size items. Here's another one, Torrid, size 2X. This is like a burgundy floral tab sleeve pullover blouse. Very nice. Ellie's standing by the door, which means she probably needs to go out. We'll let her out here in a couple minutes. Okay, Ellie? Okay, new with tags, Dio 1961. I didn't look these up, but that's because they were only charging $3.99 for them. I mean, it shows right here $118. I don't really understand this Goodwill. They're charging still $14.99 for Miss Me jeans, and then they see a tag like this, and then they just put $3.99. Thank you. I'm like, what? They're the Carly Boyfriend short. They're white in a size 30. So I'm like, yes, I'm going to get these because, I mean, why not for $4? This is a kid's coat. I don't go through the kid's section, but it came out in a new rack, but it is the brand Burton which is a good like ski, snow, winter brand. It's a size five, six. So I'll see what these kids coats go for, but it's super cute. It's very nice gray with uh, black sleeves and black hood. Okay. What do we have next? New with tags, Torrid. Yay. Size four X. Again, charging $3.99. Like, thank you. Uh, blue, pop over, roll tab sleeve blouse. Okay, this reminded me of Ed Hardy, which is why I got it. It's kind of like, um, cool, right? 
But it's Dale Earnhardt, or Dale Jr. And it's kind of like a Y2K style, in my opinion. So, it's a size medium. I don't know. <laughs> I just know I sold an Ed Hardy hoodie for like 80 bucks on Mercari. So I'm like, this resembles that, and it's like NASCAR, so I'm gonna try it. I have no clue what that's gonna go for, but I'm gonna look it up. But I was like, I have to get this. Okay, I haven't found this brand in so long. It's Jams World, which is cool. It's very colorful, usually kind of like Hawaiian. This is a size extra large, almost like a rose watercolor pullover. No, not a pullover, button up short sleeve top. Excited to find that. I did get this Under Armour skirt, which I barely get this brand, but it reminded me of Lululemon Pace Setter skirt, kind of. And I was like, uh, a lot of people are gonna be working out again. $3.99, size medium, like new condition. Got that. Actually just got matched up with somebody on Flip that has a new with tags Lululemon skirt. So I sent her price estimates. Hopefully she accepts my like offers, I guess. That's what you want to say. Here's another newer anthropology item. This is Meadow Rue. So I think it's newer because it says anthropology under there. It's a size extra large and it's just this very pretty velvet embroidered pullover like top sweater tank top. I don't know what you want to call it. It's super soft. Decided to get that. This is a cabbie size large navy blue cardigan sweater chunky knit nice not really too worn with the two pockets on the front and we have one more item and tell me if you guys sell this anymore it's iviva which is the kids lululemon i don't think it's made anymore it was over in the plus size section so i don't know if somebody just like decided not to get it or they were trying to like hide it until um the sale color went up let me see what size it is oh it's a size 12. so let me know if you guys sell iviva anymore just a pair of shorts, but I thought I would try them because they were $3.99. So that's it, guys. That's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up on the way out. If you haven't yet, I'm going to go let Ellie out. She's ready to go. These next two videos are what YouTube recommends that you watch. So if you like this one and you haven't watched those, go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys again soon with another video. Bye.